Then, good morning, fourth graders. We are going to skip ahead to lesson 85 in math. We will go back to 83 and 84, uh, but getting close to the weekend, um, I felt like this assignment was a little easier to explain. So let's get started. Lesson 85 talks about multiplying by 10, by 100, and by 1,000. Good news. I love multiplying when there are zeros involved because all you need to do is multiply the first number. Or what's 1 times 9, class? Uh, yes, Lizzie. 1 times 9 is 9. And then how many zeros are in the problem? 1, 2, 3. Yes. So we hit submit. We're in IXL, fourth grade, concept D, multiply by 10 or 100. I hit submit. Excellent. All right. This looks a little trickier, but it's not too bad. What's 95 times 1? You got it. 95. How many zeros are in the problem? Two. One, two. Normally, I'd put a comma in there, too. I believe IXL will accept it either way. Good news. All right, what's 76 times 1? 76. How many zeros? There's 1. Excellent. 43 times 1? 43. How many zeros are in the problem? 1. So you basically multiply the number. And then however many zeros are in your multiplication problem, uh, that will be your answer. And so that is why I personally love multiplying with zeros. Um, I still would love you to read over Lesson 85 and please look at the examples. I'm just finding that IXL seems to be one of the easiest ways for me to check that you're doing math. And then it's also... Um, a neat resource that our school has uh, bought for us. Um, as you continue, you'll see your SMART score go up. Um, I'd like you to see when you're done with a concept to get a SMART score of 70 or higher, but obviously just like a real assignment, the higher the better. You guys are doing great. I might add one more practice to this lesson just to make sure you're learning all you need to. Lesson 85 in math with IXL. Have a great day.